first step to making crispy skillet home fries is to give the potatoes a good scrub and then dice them into half inch cubes. I am using red potatoes today as that's what I have on hand, but Yukon Gold and Russet potatoes make excellent options as well. That being said, if you want to pare down your prep time in the morning, if you're making these for breakfast, you may prep the potatoes the night before, keeping them in a bowl of water in the fridge. While this step is optional, if you do go this course, please take the time to drain the potatoes and roll them up in a clean dish towel to dry them off. Wet potatoes will not get crispy. Once the taters are ready to go, the next step is to heat the skillet. Since a pound of potatoes will not fit in my 12 inch skillet in a single layer, I'm going to have another batch going in my 10 inch skillet so that the home fries will be ready at the same time. Mind you, you can also fry the potatoes in two batches. The choice is yours. It is important for the potatoes to be in a single layer because overcrowding the home fries in the skillet will create steam, which is not conducive to getting the potatoes crispy. For the same reason, we will not be salting the potatoes in the pan as salt draws out water. If you're new to cooking with cast iron, I have a video full of tips for cooking and caring for cast iron. One rule, however, is to make sure the skillet is hot and greasy. First heat the pan, then add the oil. The oil will heat upon contact so you can add the potatoes straight away. Be sure to use cooking fat with a high smoke point. I'm using avocado oil today, but beef tallow, lard, bacon grease, and duck fat are fine options as well. Once the potatoes are in the skillet, wait. This is the hardest part because you must let five to seven minutes transpire without touching the potatoes as we want a golden crust to form. Once they have that crust, Stir them around every couple of minutes for the next 20 minutes. To check for doneness, pierce the potatoes with a fork, then transfer them to a large mixing bowl and add one teaspoon each of dried parsley, dill, and thyme, or two teaspoons fresh. Season to taste with salt and pepper and serve. If you're not serving them right away, Keep them in a warm oven to keep them fresh until you do serve them. I love dipping these home fries into runny eggs, but they also make an excellent weeknight side dish for steak, burgers, and most roasted meats. Until next time!